Hi friends, today we'll create this melted, liquid-like text effect in After Effects. Create a new composition. Create a new text layer and center it. Add a twirl effect. Set the values as in the video to add the text some twirliness. Add a CC smear effect to the text and set the values of from and to. These points will specify where from and to the drop will fall. Also, change the drop radius. Animate the reach parameter from 0 to 1000. It gives us melting animation, but since we don't want it to be linear, we can set the speed graphs. Select all of the keyframes and click on Fn plus F9 to set the speed graph. Hold Alt and click on the reach parameter, write down the loop out expression. Now our animation is cycled. Next. We need to duplicate the effect several times and move the points to each of the symbols. For each duplicate, we can randomly move the keyframes, so each drop will have a random speed and random placement on the timeline. Also, we can experiment with the radius parameter. That's the result we've achieved. If you enter animation, check our 4,000 templates for video editing. Here you can find dozens of video templates for your project, from title animation to YouTube outros and much more. Pick a template for the software you use and preview all categories included inside. Video editing has never been easier. So make sure you have visited our easyedit.pro website. Duplicate the text and disable the duplicate for now. Pre-compose the original layer and call in text comp. Now we need to add footage to our composition. Place it below and pre-compose. Call it material comp. Set its track mat to alpha mat. Now add a CC blobalize effect to the material comp. Set the blob layer to luminance.
Change the softness to 15 and cut away to 50. Reduce the light height to 30. Next, add a CC plastic effect to our material. Choose the text comp in the bump layer and set the values as it's shown in the video. Add a CC glass effect. In the bump map, select text comp and set other parameter values as in the video. Now, add CC glass to the text comp and set the values as in the video, once again. We can see that it gave out text softer, liquid edges. Go to the duplicated text layer and enable it back. Swift the font style to regular and the letter spacing to 9. Disable fill and enable stroke. Set the stroke to 1px. Pre-compose it and call it text stroke. Center it horizontally and set its opacity to 30%. Add a glow effect to it and set the parameter values as in the video. Duplicate it. Create a new adjustment layer and add a curves effect to it. Set the curves as in the video. Add another curves effect and paint our title. Set the curves as in the video once again. Add a sharpen effect and set the value to 3. Now drop our main comp to the new composition and create a new BG solid. Change the composition name to text and duplicate it. Call the duplicate shadow. Add an inner glow to our text and set the same values. Add bevel and emboss and its values.
Let's disable the text comp for convenience and add a gradient ramp to our shadow. Add a glow effect and place it over the gradient map. Change the parameter settings as it's shown in the video. Set the glow dimensions to vertical. Duplicate the glow. We can enable the text now. Let's add a simple choker effect to the shadow and customize it. Create a new adjustment layer and add a noise effect to it. Set the amount of noise to 10% and disable use color noise. If we need to additionally remove the color, we can get inside of the text composition and disable the color curves. If we want to quickly change the color everywhere, we just need to add a color balance HLS effect to the adjustment layer and customize the hue as we need. And that's how we created this melted text effect in After Effects. If you like the result, make sure to hit the like button and follow our channel for more tutorials. See you in next video.